happy college football week one Saturday, everybody, uh, and welcome in. This is Ethan Bainbridge with uh, another Better and Green uh, instant reaction video here, and today we're going to talk about what everybody's talking about, the Colorado Buffaloes. Um, so Colorado, Coach Prime, a complete team um, flip, if you will, goes in uh, to TCU, the defending national champion runner-up um, down in Fort Worth, and they're almost a three, well, I think they closed as a three-touchdown underdog, uh, Colorado, that is. And Colorado went in, uh, looked really good, won the game outright, 45-42, to 42, um, led by uh, Deion Sanders, the coach, his son, Shakir Sanders, the quarterback, um, as well as their um, defensive back and wide receiver, um, can't think of his name right now, and uh, the running back as well did really well. But, um, yeah, Colorado went in. Three touchdown uh, underdogs and won the game outright. Looked really good. Um, but let's pump the brakes a little bit. This is a, there's a huge overreaction right now. Um, TCU, first of all, way overachieved last year getting to the national championship game. Uh, they lost Max Duggan. Uh, they lost Quentin Johnston. Um, they lost a bunch of pieces. Uh, Kendra Miller, a bunch of pieces to that championship runner-up team. Um, and overachieved with those guys. So uh, let's not act like TCU is a top dog um, in the country because they aren't. Um, and, I mean, I'll give it to Colorado. They did look really good, a lot better than I expected them to look. Um, but they head into week two against a Nebraska team who looked pretty lackluster on Thursday night against Minnesota. They lost that game 13-10. to um, Really boring game there, but... In the summer, Nebraska opened as an eight and a half point favorite against this Colorado team for week two. Uh, Colorado is now a one and a half point favorite after week one. Major overreaction. Um, one of the bigger overreactions I've seen uh, in recent memory. Cannot wait to go take Nebraska on the money line. I think Nebraska is the right side in this game. Um, yeah, the public just loves to overreact to what they see week in and week out. They saw Nebraska. Uh, kind of in a standalone spot on Thursday night when there wasn't many games. Uh, I saw them kind of lay an egg against Minnesota. And uh, obviously everyone was watching Colorado today. Loved what they saw out of the Deion Sanders squad there. But um, yeah, just you can't take it uh, week by week. You know, you have to see big picture here. And you're, you're going to get a lot of value on Nebraska this week. Um, so I am chomping at the bit already to go lay some money on Nebraska think they're the right side once again um again congr congratulations to uh coach Dion in Colorado I was wrong I bet TCU today uh I bet a minus 20 and a half it was never even close so um yeah I I didn't expect to see what I saw this afternoon but again major overreaction uh heading into next week and Nebraska seems like the play to me uh but what do you guys think let me know down in the comments um I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. I think a lot of people are loving Colorado. Um, obviously, they're pretty public and uh, popular right now. Bandwagon going through Colorado. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me know what way you're going to bet that game, if you like Colorado, if you like Nebraska. And then, guys, we are donating $1 um, to St. Jude's from now until the NFL kickoff Thursday, sep September 7th, um, for every subscription that we get on our channel. So please help out. Uh, throw us a subscription, throw us a like, and then again, just help us comment. It really helps the algorithm. And if you like videos like this, uh, it really helps us to keep creating them for you. So that is my instant reaction to what I saw today with the Colorado Buffaloes. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.